All right, so today we're going to talk about two new lenses. One is for the GFX system and one is for the X-Series system. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. So first, let's talk about the GF 20 to 35 millimeter F4 RWR. So its equivalency in terms of 35 millimeter full frame is 16 to 28 millimeters, which will give you an extremely wide field of view. It is designed for super high resolution considering we have 100 megapixel sensors. So this sense will give you nice and sharp images. It is designed for high speed and silent autofocus. Now to note as well that the focusing will be internal. so the lens will not go in and out when focusing and it also will not go in and out when zooming either so it's internal zooming as well we have a minimum focusing distance of 35 centimeters which allows you to get really close to your subjects and that's constant across all of the range now the filter diameter is 82 millimeters which is pretty small considering the ultra wide nature of this zoom. Now this lens, despite being an ultra wide zoom lens, it is small and lightweight considering that it's only 725 grams. Now, of course, this being part of the GFX system, the lens is weather resistant and features a flooring coating to repel any water, dirt or dust. So this makes it the widest lens that we have on a GFX system. Now I remind you, we have an equivalency of 16 millimeter at the widest end. Now, of course, this lens is gonna be very appealing to interior photographers, architecture and landscape photographers as well. So I went out, you know, walk around, the city with the lens and I shot some architecture stuff. This is not really my thing, but I did have some fun and I could notice that dramatic look that you get from this ultra wide angle lens and it was really enjoyable. Moving on, let's talk about the new 56 millimeter F 1.2 RWR. So we have a brand new optical design to be able to resolve that super high image quality, especially now that we have a 40 megapixel sensor. The lens features nano GI coating to help reduce any chromatic and coma aberration. So if you have high contrast scene backlit situations, this is going to be very interesting. It will control the chromatic aberration really well. Now, if we compare this brand new 56 millimeter to the older one, we have a minimum focusing distance that is reduced from 70 centimeters to 50 centimeters. So that allows us to get really close up to our subject. We also have an improved aperture blade design. So we went from seven aperture blades on the previous version, and now we have 11 aperture blades for a smoother bokeh. Now, one big thing that is, I think, really important that was requested a lot is that now this 56 millimeter is weather resistant. We have a flooring coating, again, to repel water, dust, and dirt. And if we look at the front of the lens, we have a filter thread of 67 millimeters. So I went out and shoot this lens and of course I really enjoyed it. I got some nice portraits out of it. It was low light situation and it handled it really well. Now of course this lens is gonna be great for portrait photographers, wedding photographers alike, and, and I'm super excited to start using it. All right, so that will wrap it up for this quick, you know, first look at the brand new GF 20 to 35 as well as the 56 mil F 1.2. Now, if you'd like to see more about these and other Fujifilm products, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And then for now, I'm just gonna go and play some more with these lenses.